dear students welcome back in this session we are going to discuss about electric shock and what are the effects of shock and causes of electric shock and the prevention okay and also management so a shock is a painful stimulation of sensory nerves which is caused by sudden flow cessation or variation of current motor nerves may also be stimulated causing a muscle contraction okay so now we will know about the severity of the shock the greater the intensity of the current which passes through the body the more is this severe is the shock okay so as we know that um, according to the ohms law we know that i is equal to e by r okay so the current intensity depends upon the emf and the resistance a high emf is liable to produce um, a current of large intensity and so will get a severe shock okay consequently the emf available for the patient is limited to the maximum likely to be required for the treatment apparatus for direct current makes 80 to 90 volts available and for sinusoidal currents it is about 60 volts the current intensity also depends on the resistance of the circuit a high resistance reduces the intensity of the current and so the severity of the shock if exposed parts of the circuit are touched with damp hands the shock is more likely to be severe than if hands are dry while shocks may be experienced in baths because the resistance of the skin is lowered by soaking in water the severity of the shock also depends on the path taken by the current and a strong current uh, through the head neck or whole body might prove fatal okay so shocks are generally more severe with the alternating than with the direct current because the intensity of the former that is um, uh, alternating current is continually changing so it provides a stronger sensory stimulation also it may produce tetanic type of muscle contractions which make it impossible for the victim to let go of the conductor okay now now we will see the effects of shock so or we can um, see the we can consider this effects of shock uh, under the types of shock so electric shocks can be of three types depending upon the nature and the amount of current flow and can be classed as two types depending upon their severity okay so now depending upon the nature and um, amount of current flow electric shocks can be micro shock and macro shock okay so macro shock if the current flow is from the body surface through the skin into the body a relatively large amount of current is needed to produce harmful a uh, shock called as macro shock macro shock is a harmful shock if you see the micro shock if the current passes the surface of the body and enters the heart by way of myocardial electrodes or a transvenous catheter a minute current can produce a fatal shock without the patient experiencing anything for example uh, a therapist may be handling a patient with an uh, electrical monitoring device on the heart if at the same time he connects his hand to a faulty table lamp or some device with a broken 
ground connection while palpating the patient's chest then he could give the patient a micro shock and cause ventricular fibrillation so here the uh, we can't uh, uh, underestimate uh, uh, the shock the shock may be um, of uh, low intensity will also cause uh, some fatal things okay we have to consider even it is a small shock also okay depending upon the severity of the shock it is divided into mild shock and severe shock okay mild in the mild when the intensity of the current that gives rise to shock is up to 20 milliamperes the patient may only get a painful sensory stimulation with labored and upset breathing with a lot of fear and distress and there is no loss of consciousness in the case of mild shock that means the patient becomes or the victim may be frightened and possibly hysterical okay in the case of minor shock or mild shock okay if you see the severe shock if the current flow is more than 20 milliamperes it results in um, difficulty in letting go that means the person cannot move from that conductor away okay which leads to muscular paralysis fall in blood pressure and causes loss of consciousness so if you can see the person who is falling on the ground he he is affecting with severe shock okay and cessation of respiration okay and um, also uh, ventricular fibrillation finally irregular heartbeat or cardiac arrest may cause in few cases resulting in death normally death usually occurs with a current that is above 100 milliamperes and is a must with a current of 200 milliamperes and above if immediate release is not possible okay so the, these are the things we can see in the severe shock okay so normally in some of the other features we can see the person exhibits with vision problems and um, during uh, such uh, after fall uh, the tongue may be swollen and this may obstruct the airway and uh, already we know that um, by falling the bones may be fractured okay and the person is having some respiratory problems and the person also experience with the burns entry burn and exit burn okay so um i want to show you a chart uh, to know the severity of the shock uh, how much intensity causes such a kind of severity okay so 1 to 10 milliamperes leading to prickling sensation so still the person is in contact with the conductor he can tolerate and 10 milliamperes muscle contraction the person remains stuck to the conductor so uh, this is the uh, these two are the safest uh, type of uh, intensity and uh, such kind of intensity only we are going to use uh, for uh, therapy also and 20 to 30 milliamperes muscle contraction can cause uh, respiratory paralysis and 70 to 100 milliamperes this contraction can cause respiratory paralysis and the heart begins to vibrate no longer beats at a steady rate at this Uh, 70 to 100 milliamperes and more than this that is above 100 milliamperes 200 milliamperes 300 there may be immediate cardiac arrest resulting in death okay so these are all the um effects 
of the intensity of uh, various currents leads to the uh, some of the problems okay so and another one um, we can consider here uh, that one is um, faulty depending upon the faulty wiring of houses and equipments the shock could be earth shock what is that this would be earth shock okay when a shock is due to the formation of earth circuit is known as an earth shock what is an earth circuit so the electric power is transmitted to the live cable this one is live and neutral and this neutral one which is connected to the earth okay that is called as earth circuit so the earth forms part of the conducting pathway and any connection between the live wire okay of the main and the earth okay so this there may be a connection so if any person comes a part of this uh, circuit then the person will get the earth shock okay here you can find so this person is uh, Uh, becoming a part of this uh, circuit so the current is flowing through the body and then um, it reaches to the earth so this is the faulty current passes through the human body okay if earthing is not properly done then this is the uh, thing happened here okay and so the earth forms a part of conducting pathway and any connection between the live wire and the main wire and the earth completes a circuit through which current passes if some person forms a part of this circuit so here this a person forms the part of the circuit uh, he receives an earth shock thus an earth shock is liable to occur if any person makes contact with the live live wire so here you can see live wire of the main while connected to earth while connected to the earth okay so this is called as earth shock okay now we will see the causes of uh, electric shock so here you can find um, Uh, number of causes so a person may obtain a shock um, without touching the active wire of the power supply and there may be the first normal thing is the sudden alteration of the current flow we can take it as sudden alteration of the current flow that means uh, while on the start of the treatment the low or medium frequency currents is switched on with the controls turned up or if insufficient time is allowed for the apparatus to warm up so that the current comes on suddenly after the controls have been turned up it results in a sudden flow of current which is giving shock to the patient shock may also occur if the intensity control is turned up unduly during the intervals in the flow of interrupted or surged current okay and the other causes of shock or the improper earth connection many electrical apparatus have metal casings an active voltage can be actually shortened to the casing because of the dropping of the instrument uh moisture dust deterioration of the equipment due to misuse or age a person touching the casing could get a shock and another one is the um a leakage of uh, currents so you can find the leakages here okay the wires or no the wires are cut uh, on many areas so you should not uh, use such kind of uh, wiring 
so these are called as leakage currents so if you use such kind of wires the um, uh, power may um, leak out through this uh, openings and when we touch this uh, these wires it may cause uh, shock okay in all electrical equipments the intended current carrying pods are separated from the rest of the equipment by insulators with high quality insulation materials and good circuit designs there will be no problem with leakage currents but with poor designs the leakage currents from the wires carrying the current will be hazardous and also um the switch should be easily accessible and um, no uh, things are uh, kept in front of the switch boxes here so the boxes will block the access to the power switch in case of emergency okay and also this is the acceptable grounding terminals and uh, such kind of um, unacceptable protective terminals for grounding or missing in such kind of uh, switchboards two pin connections it is uh, important that all electrical equipment should have a three pin connection including the earth connection so that is the thing here okay to avoid the leakage currents and uh, hazards from metal casings the three pin system offers the protection of the fuse blowing if there is a leakage or metal casing uh, short circuit the three pin system has the protective ground wire pin always longer than the others to ensure that the ground connection is the first to be plugged in and the last to be unplugged okay so if you have three pins okay in this three pins the ground pin should be um longer and this should be kept first in the plug and in removing uh, these two pins has to be removed and later this uh, larger pin has to be uh, removed that is unplugged okay the building itself must carry a good grounding system for the power supply if the above features are absent and a two pin connection is used it may give the shock and faulty electrical components so as we have seen earlier the presence of faulty components such as a faulty transformer or a leaky capacitor may be hazardous giving electric shock non insulating floorings it is mandatory to have the floor of the electrotherapy unit to be insulated through vinyl or some other insulating floorings if the floor is not insulated it enhances the occurrence of earth shock faulty switch and fuse connection it is essential that the switches and fuses must break the live wire if not it may produce shock okay yes so now so these are the causes of um, a shock now we will see the features of the electric shock so so following a mild shock the victim may be frightened and get some pain the respiratory and the heart rate may be increased and subject may have breathing difficulty when following a severe shock the victim may remain connected to the circuit there may be muscle paralysis fall in blood pressure ventricular fibrillation loss of consciousness cessation of respiration and cardiac arrest the cessation of respiration is recognized by lack of respiratory movements and also the cyanosis so there may be a change in the skin color into bluish so whereas the cardiac arrest can be recognized by the absence or abnormality of respiratory movements we can check for the pulse absence of pulse um, not only uh, radial pulse you have to check for carotid pulse and fully um, dilated pupils okay so what is the treatment of this um, electric shock 
so in the event of shock occurring the first step is to disconnect the victim from the contact with the current source okay the current should be switched off and once at once but if there is no switch in the circuit the victim must be removed from the contact uh, with the conductor but the rescuer must take care not to get a shock by touching the affected person the contact with the affected person should only be made by thick layer of insulated material after the person is removed a medical officer is immediately con- consulted and the following step should be taken if the shock is minor minor the victim is reassured and given rest the victim may be given water to drink but not hot drinks so this hot drinks may cause vasodilatation and sweating and further causes fall in blood pressure keep it in mind the victim should be given only cold water okay not cool cold water as well as the person should not uh, give hot drinks if the shock is more severe the victim is laid flat in such a position that the respiratory passages are clear that is called as a resuscitation position okay so we can reassure the patient okay the tight clothing should be loosened and plenty of air is circulated to avoid undue warming as it causes vasodilation and increases sweating the external heat increases the metabolism and so the demand for oxygen also increases which is hazardous do not give anything in the mouth if the patient is unconscious if the respiration has ceased clear the airways and start artificial respiration by mouth to mouth or mouth to nose method and proceed for oxygen administration by a mask by a bag and mask in the event of cardiac arrest start external cardiac massage with uh, along with uh, uh, mouth to mouth or mouth to nose breathing yes so normally such kind of procedure is called as uh, bls that is basic life support has to be given if basic um, life support uh, is not working then the person should be given uh, some external shock that is called as de- defibrillator um, yes and then if a single person is treating the patient is laid on the back either on the floor or on some hard surface with the neck extended to open the airways okay only if only one person is treating that means some person has to do external cardiac massage um, massage and then another person helps in breathing that is having some counts for every 30 compressions for every 30 compressions on the heart you have to give um, five three to five breathings um, uh, through mouth to nose so it is having some uh, technique here that we can uh, discuss in basic life support okay if only one person is treating then uh, it is not possible to give simultaneous so the person is laid on the back either on the floor or on some hard surface with neck extended to open the airways the operator places her hands one on the top of the other on the patient's lower sternum this is the technique and commences um, forceful rhythmic compressions at the rate of 60 to 100 per minute so the operator after every 15 chest compressions uh, intersperses two chest expansions either through mouth to mouth or mouth to nose ventilation until the face mask or bag are available if two persons are available in this case the same procedure is followed like the single operator handling except 
one operator giving chest compressions while the other one giving mouth to mouth or mouth to nose breathing okay after every five um, chest compressions okay and in the events of respiratory failure or cardiac arrest it is essential to call for medical help immediately but no delay should be made in starting the cardiopulmonary resuscitation okay how can you prevent this electric shock okay prevention of um, electric shock so if you know the causes then prevention is easy arrange the department in such a way that there is less possibility of anyone making an earth connection while in contact with the apparatus the floor should be insulated and the water pipes etc should not be wired close to the treatment area ensure that the switches and fuses um, break the live wire ensure the apparatus casing is connected to earth ensure that Uh, the power plug has three pins one for live other for neutral and the third for the earth ensure that the patient do not touch the apparatus while on treatment okay it has been found that if the patient touches the two electrodes of swd machine while on treatment a sparking may result which causes unpleasant sensory stimulation while applying the treatment in baths ensure that the bath is made from insulating material and there should be no leakage of water which may make an uh, uh, contact with earth ensure that the current used is earth free so these are all about the uh, electric shock in the next session we are going to discuss about Uh, the types of burns which are caused due to electricity thank you